written to me. Like, he's done it to me. It's so, like, you just don't expect it. Yeah. I don't know. It's like, oh, yeah, Fox's recovery is bad. And then suddenly it's like, oh, I'm getting dragged down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is Loser's semis. semis. Yeah, okay. So we got Espeon and Legit versus... Captain L focus. Yeah, legit going DK. I haven't seen his DK all day, but maybe against this team specifically. Also, focus Ryu. Oh, true. That's interesting too. I, I don't know. I don't know what the logic is with these character choices. Maybe they both are like sort of feeling down about their winner's racket performance, and they just kind of like want to experiment. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, Ryu Pika's pretty strong. Yeah. That's true. You would know. <laughs> <laughs> All this right. is already pretty interesting. So, uh, legit, legit throwing, throwing out, out smash attacks. <laughs> so many smash attacks. Cool. And grabbing his teammate. Okay, that down smash hit three people. <laughs> I like this. Like feels like a hand warmer. It's not a hand warmer. <laughs> I mean, it's, I know it's not a hand warmer, but like just watching this, I'm like, dang, this yeah. feels like a hand warmer. Legit got gimped pretty early by I think Pikachu back air, so uh, blue team off to a good start here. Now. How do you how do you feel about uh, Focus's Ryu and like how have you played it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Good okay. Um. I think it's like it's weird. It's like, weird. I I feel like he's watched my Ryu and he's never watched it any other Ryu's. <laughs> but then he also is like trying to play Cloud and Sheik at the same time. Okay. Um. And it's good. Like the first yeah. time I played it, it like it bodied me. Yeah. I think he two stocked me the first game I played against it. Um, yeah. But like. It's just strange. Like, it just doesn't really do Ryu things. Okay. He does some Ryu things. Don't, like, some of the kind of bread and butter stuff, but, like, not it's weird. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> interesting. You know, I guess he just wanted his teammate to have a chance to edge guard DK, so, uh... That's the fastest way to move, I guess. Yeah. Forward air, not quite gonna kill Captain L. Um, Ooh. Bomb dash attack, almost connected. Yeah. I don't no, know whether that's an actual thing. I don't think it's an actual thing, but maybe it's a mix-up. Ooh, nice down smash to catch the uh, the Tatsu there. So uh, green team bring it back a bit. They're still quite a bit behind in percent. Yeah, without that early death on Donkey Kong, this might be a totally different game. Yeah. It's, uh, I wonder what. Uh, I guess usually with with Pika Ryu, you just do like grab to uh, like the the footstool thing, and then yeah. Yeah. What do you do in like a two v two when Pikachu gets a grab? Uh, usually just back air. Okay, back air. And then air. you can just back air pass back and forth. Okay. Ryu has a lot of hit stun, so Pika has a lot of time to capitalize, and then Pika's just lasts forever, so Ryu has a lot of time to get into a position where he can cover something. Okay, that makes sense. We'll see if they go for that. Uh, nice drills from Captain L, just sort of keeping them back in the ledge. I wonder what teams Legit and Espeon have been playing throughout. Like, I'm assuming uh, Espeon stayed Link the whole time. Yeah, I saw but Legit play Diddy against Lemon and Vortigaon, I think. Ooh, grab on the platform, that's gonna be a ding dong. That's so really early. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but still a pretty big lead for Blue Team, even with that. Like, they're just uh, racking up damage really well on, on DK and Link. Both, like, heavy, big characters that can't really land well. Oh, so. just runs up and does it. See, like, I don't know if I've ever seen him, like, confirm a short <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. He definitely seems to, like, prefer, like, conditioning with things and then running in raw when he has, like, a read. Yeah, definitely. Which definitely still works. Yeah. Uh, I know he he does, like, up tilt shorty sometimes. I don't think I've ever seen him, like, down tilt shorty or down air shorty or... Yeah. Yeah. Good up smash. Not quite gonna kill Captain L just yet. Uh, if he had rage, it probably would have, but... So... Yeah. This is going to be a long road if Espeon's going to make this back. Yeah, I, I don't know. Captain L and Focus are pretty good at the 2v1 usually, so I don't know if he'll be able to. They're pretty good at the 2v1. Um, oh, that was really well placed. That was Holy. really well placed. You just waited for the LP to start and then drag <laughs> him down. I was about to say, like, they have platforms that might interfere with Blitzrule combos if they were going to do that in the 2v1, but right. um, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Got that up, that... Thunder spike. Dang, that was brutal. You think Legit's gonna switch to Diddy or uh, Rob or stay DK? I'd say Diddy. Yeah, Diddy makes sense. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. It felt like his DK just couldn't really land, couldn't really recover. It was just kind of. Yeah, he got a few early kills, he but did. I don't know if it's worth it when Landon can edge guard him as well as as well as he can. Yeah, and I feel like they already have a link for early kills. They really just need a fast characters to like support and pull yeah. out neutral. Yeah, that's true. I think the two like really really good archetypes in doubles are like a hard hitter and then kind of like a support. Yeah. And then just like the other one is just like two like hyper carries, like two yeah. just like really strong characters that if you leave either one alone, 
then the other one just like destroys you. Right, like Cloud Lucario or something. Yeah, Cloud Lucario yeah. or like Rio Rio Bayo is my favorite example. Right, of it. right. All right, back to Battlefield. This is interesting. Yeah, um, I guess. I, I know Captain L doesn't really like Battlefield that much, but I guess it's good for Ryu, and Focus probably likes it, so... Yeah, Ryu's not going to die for a very long time. Great Thunder Spike. I don't think that'll kill. He will charge... Oh, never mind, I lied. It does kill. Hmm. I wonder if he had Rising Barrels still. That's the thing Zenodo does, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my... Okay, Captain L is going off right now. You see, um, what I was going to bring up is, like, if... If they're going for Gimps, this is like the best stage to do it on. Right, because the big bottom. Yeah, the big bottom as well as... Um, oh my god, that's another Gimp. Holy... As well as having um, large Blast Zones, so they're not going to die from like other stuff. Yeah. Um, oh my god, okay. and Espeon's still going off stage. I feel like at this point, you just got to <laughs> stand stop, in the center. Yeah. <laughs> like, avoid that completely. That was insane from Captain L. It's like three stocks in under a minute. Oh, that one's dead oh too. Oh my god. <laughs> That's four Gimps. Let's see, will he get all six <laughs> stocks this game with all Gimps? That was actually, like, ridiculous. He's going for them. Like, he's he's still putting them towards the edge for stage control. Yeah, I'm done. So. Yeah, that'd be lit. Thank you. All right. I'm putting that, that on Reddit later. Like, it's <laughs> my karma, not yours. <laughs> okay. Uh, so anyway. Reddit is your domain. Reddit is you my can domain. Have that. Okay. <laughs> so, uh... What's, yeah, they still haven't managed to take a stock off this blue team, uh, but they've managed to uh, hold on to these stocks for like more than 30 seconds, so that's good. Yeah, uh, see, it's so hard to take stocks on this stage. Yeah, it is. There we go. As we say. They God both damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I say it, immediately both of them die. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, well. Still, though, huge amount of decline for the green team. Rosh Oryukin's going to take out Espeon, and I don't think Legit can do this. Um, yeah. If he had rising barrels there, he could have got back. But I don't know if he really. I want to see. Can, wait, can you guys? Can you guys look at the damage? Look at the damage to this game. <laughs> <laughs> One thirty-eight. That's. All right. So blue team did a combined amount <laughs> oh. of two hundred and like. No, three hundred ten damage. What? No. Yeah. 136 and 141? 138 and 160. It was 141. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, I was looking so at Dash it's, Taken. It's below 300. Below 300, yeah. Which means an average of 50% of stock. Nice. Less than 50% of stock. That's right. That'll happen sometimes, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That'll uh, happen. Legit going Cloud. I don't think I've seen his Cloud in a long time. I mean, just theorizing, Cloud is going to get gimped just as hard. Yeah. If not harder. But we'll see. So who knows? Maybe he'll play a bit smarter now and not go off stage. I don't know. Back to Battlefield. Okay. Right. Interesting. I would definitely switch up the stage if I were them too, but Yeah. Maybe they just like I mean I know I know Espeon really likes platforms because he can just move on them so well and like Link can angle all his projectiles to sort of use the platforms to camp rather than like usually you want flash stages to camp. Oh my god. He's not dead. He's dead. He didn't have a bomb. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Captain L is like... I've never seen him get so many like, aggressive edge guards. I think he's maybe consciously trying to do that. Yeah, I think after the, I think maybe the first few were just like opportunistic. And, yeah. and then after that, he's just like, well, I got this many. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay, the good down air stage spike from uh, Espeon. Going to take out focus early. Oh my god, yeah, he's definitely one. going for them. Yeah. Um, I think at this point, if you if you can get that many a row and they aren't adapting to it, I think might, yeah, as, well. Just might as well use it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, legit sort of throwing out Blade Beam for no reason. Oh, uh, that, that works. was good. Yeah. That was good. I was afraid that was going to hit... Um, Espeon? Yeah. But yeah, no, Espeon just goes straight over it. And I wonder if Captain L maybe could have held on a bit longer so that the throw is delayed, but... I don't know. Ooh, actually, Espeon living through that. Yeah. Oh! Good confirm. Was that up smash to up air? I think, yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Interesting. You said up smash, and I was like, no, you can't up smash in the air, but then I realized yeah, you were talking about choose up smash. Yeah. All right. Gets Cloud off stage. You gonna see another game? No, he makes it to the platform. Okay. Green team's sort of holding stage control here, so they're not in a terrible spot. Ooh, Good I heard the shore you input. Wow, okay. Espeon just securing both stocks, dash attack, and then a forward air. Wow, this is suddenly looking 
much different than the last few games. Yeah. This is what happens when they don't die, like, that 10% four times. I want to see Focus switch back to Cloud now. You think so? Yeah. He's kind of just, like, running around and throwing things out now. It doesn't look very clean. Okay. I'd like to see him switch back now that they're kind of used to the Ryu. Yeah. That might make sense. Assuming they lose this game. <laughs> well... Legit does have a limit now, so giving him is going to be a little uh, less free. And we'll see if he chooses to hold limit to like protect himself from Gimps, or if he just throws it out to try and get a kill. Yeah, that was a good way to get that a kill. A, yeah, <laughs> definitely the right choice there. All right, two v one, three stocks to one. One, yeah. and one very low stock, but not very low. Ninety-eight. Like he's still not even in Pikachu kill percent. Yeah, I guess it is battlefield as well. Yeah. If they don't get Gimped, they're pretty safe. If Oops. they don't get Gimped. If they don't get Gimped. <laughs> Okay. That was good confirm. Yeah, this is definitely finishing touch percent, so uh, Captain L can't afford to get grabbed right now. I'm not sure what they're laughing about. But, uh... Oh, Captain... Okay, wow. wow. All Quick, right. Was that, that was quick attack cancel the up air to thunder. That, yes. Wow. I want to see legit just sit back, charge. Yes, that's yeah. what I want. But uh, he has to not be not do, not do that too much or else his partner might get gimped. So. Oh what? my goodness, the bomb pulled him under the stage? I think the boomerang pulled him under the stage and then the bomb hit him. Oh, that was weird. I don't know. Up throw? The up throw, that won't kill. Yeah, yeah, I think he could have charged it for a little bit longer. Yeah. That's okay though, it's good percent. Okay. That'll not be, I feel like they're not following off, off Link's throws at all. Oh, never mind, they don't need to. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it, just throw it out. Limit cross slash, let's go. I guess at that point, Captain L was just like, okay, they're gonna grab me and set up for like the kill somehow, and he just didn't want to hold shield, and then that happened. So I don't know. All right, we'll see what they choose to do. We'll see if they go back to battlefield. I, I don't think they'll let them go back to battlefield. Yeah. I mean, they won well, on it there. They, they picked it, so uh, they probably won't ban it. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. We I guess they see. could DSR battlefield because it is their last win. Sheik to go. Sheik, okay. Well, this serves the same purpose as switching. Yeah, I guess. It's still a character that he's just a little more familiar with and a bit cleaner. I don't know. I guess Legit is debating switching first. Yeah. He loves his counter picks. He does. Luigi, maybe? No. He hovers over it, but... <laughs> you know, I could actually see the logic of the Olimar, because... The just worst like, thing about Legit is every time he hovers over someone, it could be his actual be. pick. <laughs> yeah, but he's going to stick with Cloud. All right. Why, why change it if it's not broken? Well, it is broken. It is That's broken. why he's not changing it. You're right. <laughs> Let's go Cloud. <laughs> All right. So stays Ryu. Interesting. Yep. Town and City. So they definitely want to get those like early, early Ryu kills, early up smash kills. Uh, wait, Loser's semis is best of five, but Loser's final... Wait, okay, I see. Yeah. It's for money, I think, is what the... That makes sense. ...distinction is. Okay. I guess it's just top four best of five. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Blue team look a bit sketchy here. Like, they are down in percent. They haven't really hit Eskion at all, but... As we've seen, they don't really need to. They can get a few gimps and they'll be right right back in the lead. I think the one thing I want to see from like Focus's Ryu in doubles is I just want to see him wait a little bit more. Um, Instead of going just, for like, like raw, yeah. Yeah, he just kind of like runs in and, and throws hitboxes, which is good against people who don't like understand quite where Ryu's like hitboxes and where like he's vulnerable and that yeah. kind of stuff. But against these people who kind of know how Ryu works, it's going to be a little bit um, a little bit more difficult. Okay. Ooh. Was that a... How, how did Legit die? I didn't quite see. Wait. All right. I don't How know. is everybody dying? I'm not sure. Uh, everyone except Eskion just losing their stock there, so... That was, that was really messy. Um, Legit kind of does the same thing in doubles, too. He's he's very much the, uh, and just, the initiator. Yeah, he just runs in. He will always throw the first hitbox. I don't know. I'd like to see Jason just kind of, like, wait and abuse that. But, I mean, waiting against Cloud is kind of difficult, because you don't want to just let him charge them up for free, so... Yeah. I can understand the rationale behind, like, just running in. But if your opponent isn't just charging limit, yeah, yeah there's like no reason. Uh, good down air, not gonna get the spike, but they're keeping this ledge situation going really well. Uh, 
Wow. Oh my goodness, that spike killed so that, early. That was a re-grab, right? Or was that a two-frame? I'm not sure. I, I'm assuming it was a re-grab. Yeah. I know you can two-frame with it, but I'm assuming that was it, a it, it didn't look like a perfectly timed two-frame, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So blue team gonna have to adapt here. They're down again, and they haven't been fighting these edge guards anymore, so... I'm... Yeah. Okay. Oh, this Rush does work. All right, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it works. Maybe I need to take some tips from our boy Focus. <laughs> the real Ryu Master. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so pretty even besides um, besides Blue Team having higher percent on their stocks. Yeah, but they are also up. I, I would say both Pikachu and Ryu are arguably easier to kill than Cloud and Link. Actually, maybe not Ryu. I don't know. But Yeah, I'd say not Ryu. Pikachu definitely is like anything would probably kill him at this point. Yeah. From Link Ryu has an easier time killing though, which is nice. Yeah. So there's there's benefits and downsides to both. I generally like don't nice. say there's a lead or a disadvantage until the stocks are taken. So and now there's stocks definitely are taken. a lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is gonna be hard for Jason, especially because he's kind of new to Ryu. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be hard for him to get out of disadvantage against two like big sword characters. Yeah, and neither of these matchups are like easy with Ryu. Yeah. Um, I think they're both super doable once you like understand how to break zones really well, but like that's something that doesn't come with Ryu immediately. Yeah. Oh, missing the upper there. Uh. He just did it? Well... He finishing touched out of hit stun. Yeah. Oh my lord. I mean, yeah, if it works. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. We're going to game 5. Wow. Alright. Winner of this plays Glitz Dynasty. Yep. Big D Firefly. And then the winner of that plays uh, me and Bishley in France. Well, all right, now we're seeing the cloud switch from Focus. All right, yeah, this is this is what I wanted to see. I, <laughs> I think this will go better for them. Oh, yeah, it's I think hard so. to say though. You never know with Smash Four. I know, like, I don't know why they haven't been playing Cloud at all to begin with. Maybe Focus just really wants to try Ryu. I don't know. Yeah, but, I think Ryu is really good in doubles. But I think like their Pikachu Cloud is like really well practiced. So that's true. All right. So yeah, focus in doubles as Cloud. He us he's like the opposite of how he plays Ryu. He just sort of like hangs back at the ledge. He doesn't throw stuff out needlessly usually. Yeah. See, he's just being really, really safe and just waiting. Yeah. I think if he did that with Ryu, it would work really, really well. Maybe. Because he's really good at like taking like taking control of like little advantages. Yeah. Um, as well as just like reacting to his opponents when they make mistakes. Yeah. Um, and Ryu definitely has the frame data to abuse that. <laughs> okay. Wow, wow, down tilt into boomerang, that was funny. <laughs> so, I think Espeon fired an arrow to punish that cross slash, but like, the, the cross slash got extended by the hit stun, and then it like, clanked with the arrow. <laughs> it was neat. Okay, oh, dash attack, not quite gonna kill. Oh, okay, no, he got limit, so he's fine. He oh, goes for another he one. caught it. That could have definitely killed if he, if he got it. <laughs> Espeon with four back airs. Yeah. It's like, surprisingly, no end lag. Yeah, move. it's a super satisfying move to use. Nice dash attack. Espeon just sort of putting in work right now, keeping yeah, everyone off stage. He's really punishing Focus trying to hold in, because Focus is trying to hold in to save his limit when yeah. he's off stage. Um, and then he just gets dash attack when he's holding in. Uh, they did manage to take out uh, Legit, I think, with some stage spike on the left side, so it's pretty even right now. Ooh. Did that bomb save Captain L, or do you think he would have lived? I don't know, down smash is pretty strong, but they weren't quite near the edge, so it's hard to say. Yeah. And no, there was no rage on, or not much rage on legit, so. Ooh, the reverse hit of that up smash. Interesting. Oh. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Oh my god, that kills! That was, like, he didn't need to go for that. Actually, I guess Espeon lived, so he did need to go for that, but he just unfortunately didn't DI quite right. Oh, that bomb saving, um, saving legit. Yeah. Focus was falling off the stage with that forward air for the spike. Okay, we're just barely gonna die to that other clouds down air. Uh, that other cloud. That other cloud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Espeon's really good at staying alive. He's just holding this stock right now. What, I mean, okay, he's really good at staying alive when he doesn't get gimped like three times. Uh, up smash to up air. This is looking bad for blue team, honestly. But I guess the stocks are still even, so. They just have to watch out and not oh, let that happen. Oh, bomb fair! He held out trying to get away from the bomb. Yeah. I feel like you never want to hold out. It's just not a good idea, usually. Yeah. 
you want to hold out before the bomb hits yeah. and then immediately adjust, but like people start to panic and they see that the bomb hits them and they're like, oh no, get away from the moon. Yeah. By that, by that point, it's too late. Yeah. Where did she touch? Not gonna kill. He was not at high enough percent. Uh, so, yeah. That would have been a really big swing for them. That's that unfortunate. Would've. Uh, so now, blue team, like, if they both die, it's a 1v2. And Captain L is dangerously close to death. Focus could obviously get gimped at any moment, so... Obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> when it comes to focus. <laughs> Boy, yeah, and Espeon's still sitting pretty with two stocks, low percent. Yeah, this is rough. Goes for the forward smash uh, on Captain L, but he's just going to space back with the forward air and not let it hit him. 152% on Captain L. Basically anything he gets hit with at this point. No, 161. 152 yeah. is unlegit. No, 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 sorry. It was, it was 152 oh. as I was saying that, and then he got back to it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, back throw? No, not gonna kill. Holy. Up throw might start killing soon from yeah. in Cloud. With that much rage? Definitely from Link, I think up throw will start killing. Yes, definitely. Let's see if he goes for it. Not, he, he drops his shield and gets forward air there. Ooh, down our stage like. Oh my gosh! Oh no, that Suddenly. was a. <laughs> that was a swing for the worst, that down air stage spike. Okay. Did that just down throw up B? That was surprisingly less strong than I was hoping it was going to be. Okay, Espeon's not out of this by any means, by any stretch of the imagination. He uh, kills Cloud right now. Otherwise, he might get just like 2v1 combo. Yeah, definitely. Okay, that's going to do it. Wow. Incredible comeback from uh, Captain L and Focus. All right, well, <laughs> it was a sad way to see that last game go, but, yeah. <laughs> but they played really, really well. They did. Barely uh, clinging onto their lives there. I was much more respectable than game two. Yeah. Definitely. Game two was making it look like it was going to be a wash. Yeah. Was that, that was almost a reverse 3 0, right? It was very close to reverse 3 0, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so. Uh, Big Dan Firefly. We just talked about this like weekly. This is lit. This is pretty lit. This is like 